Hey, welcome back, everybody. We're talking about the situation in Oregon. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, you've been, you've seen a lot of people and is there, can you, can you, let's, let's just back up for a second before we, we've kind of laid the, the groundwork for this, the historical context in which this is all in. Now, I, I certainly am sympathetic with anybody who thinks they've been mistreated by a federal, by a federal or even a state prosecutor. Um, though the, I'm a defense attorney. I would certainly have argued the same kinds of things if, if these folks were my clients. And I certainly have a, I have a huge problem. I have a huge problem with this idea of, of more sentencing, not necessarily that it's wrong. I mean, if you're going, if the government can, the government just the same as a, as a citizen can appeal a sentence they think is illegal or unfair. Um, but boy, it, it really looks bad. And I, and it's very rare. I don't know. I don't understand why, uh, why the why the federal government would do something like that um in this particular situation where no one was hurt and it's a property thing it sounds like the the u.s attorney knows these people personally and maybe had an axe to grind um that is certainly rough but the response the response is what we're here to talk about primarily and this um this kind of occupation or or moving into this this wildlife refuge area I don't have a problem with it. You don't? No, I don't have a problem with the action. I don't. I don't. You're you're mad about legitimate things. I think that there are sentencing issues. I think that there are uh while I don't share your your concern necessarily about federal land management, I think that, you know, as a as any bureaucracy, it's going to have some problems, you know, whether whether you're talking about that or you're talking about the military, you're talking about other things that, you know, conservatives and liberals both like. But I think that I think that the objections to the federal land use that especially the Bundys have, I think they're ill-founded and I think they're unwarranted. Um, but I think there's, but I all, but I support anybody's legitimate political disagreement and their willingness to go out and, and protest or demonstrate and to do something dramatic to, to illustrate that or to, to dramatize that protest, just like the black lives matter folks that protest outside the mall of America around Christmas wouldn't let people in. You know, I think that if you're going, if you need attention for your movement, if you want to call attention to your, your legitimate political concern, things like that, I think are fair game. What I don't like about this one in particular is the rhetoric that's surrounding it. It's one thing to say, we have a problem with the government. It's another thing to say, Hey, we have a problem with the government. We're taking our guns and we're ready to kill or be killed. That, what what is what value does that add to a legitimate political protest? That's my issue with this. Well, and, and you know, and and you know, honest to goodness, I hate it when I have to say this. I agree with Lefty most of the way down. Um, there are there are things there there are nuances he and I will argue about during the the break. But essentially, I, I agree with I agree with uh, Blake over here. Um, my. I don't have a problem with them showing up with, with armed weapons. I don't have a problem with that. That's their right. Um, you have the right to carry. You have a right to self-defense. I'm all for that. And you and I disagree 100% on this. I'm just going to say it. This is why the Second Amendment exists. If you, you know, we had a little bit of a discussion on this uh, on Facebook about, you know, really, this is why people should show up and be able to defend themselves. I'm also going to agree with Lefty on this. It doesn't do you any good to show up with this mass of people and go, well, I've shown up here and I'm prepared to die. Over what? Water rights? That isn't what you want to stake your claim on. Just like, you know, I understand. I, I do agree with, with, with Lefty about the Clive and Bundy affair. Where was that? Arizona, New Mexico? Ne Nevada. Nevada. And, um, you know, it, we picked the wrong person at that time and the wrong issue. Everybody agrees with the sentiment. Everybody agrees with that. Every, but, protest is fine. But this, you know, so that hasn't helped. The other thing is, I'm going to point out, not everybody up there is armed. Just a few of them are armed, number one. They're calling for more people to show up, though. That's well, the sure. thing. Hey, Well, sure, They just like they did in, in Ferguson. They called for more people to show more up. More armed people? No, that's not what happened in Ferguson. They called for more people. 
people to, to join their movement not sure. not hey not show up and bring your guns because we're gonna we're going to be attacked and we're going to kill people well i really don't well one that's been the rhetoric from Eamon bundy himself yeah and he's not helping he's not helping it and know, that, that, but that's, that's what we're talking about yeah and it, that, that's not going to go anywhere however i'm going to point out that the sheriff who apparently has an axe to grind, has stated right at the beginning, listen, these are essentially, I, I can't quote exactly what he said because I can't remember, but basically, yeah, there have always been troublemakers. These people up here, we're going to take care of it. Yep. You know, a lot of threats. Well, if suddenly you're you're threatening people and you have somebody who's got the power of the sheriff behind them, yeah, all right, fine, come after me. Well, so you can here. see you can see where this is escalating. But no, this is what's so dumb this is this is why I said that earlier today, okay? And and hey, please feel free to call in and yell at me for what I'm about to say. I love it. This whole thing, the Bundy demonstrate, the Bundy led demonstrate. This is a dumb thing to do, and the rhetoric coming from those two boys. I'll call them boys. I don't know them. I don't know how old they are. It, it's dumb rhetoric. It's not designed to further a political movement. It's designed to antagonize people. They don't have the support of the local sheriff, which is the only local authority that they say that they recognize. They say the Constitution only empowers local sheriffs with any kind of authority over anybody. They're that that local yeah. authority movement. So right off the bat, they've already kind of undercut the one thing that they would actually listen to. And because he disagrees with them, all of a sudden he's illegitimate now. Number two, the Hammonds don't want him there either. They came up in solidarity. And then did the, pulled this maneuver. Yeah, the Hammonds and that, want him gone. Yeah, and I, because you know, I feel bad for the Hammonds. They got sh- you and I both agree these people got shafted. Maybe right. I don't. I don't agree with that. I don't agree they got shafted. I think well, that they, they served their time. They paid at least most of their fine. There's, it's a, right? it's very it's and a then concerning they thing. Went back, bam! You even mentioned it. You know, it, double a, jeopardy. It's not double jeopardy. But oh. not tech. It's not technically double jeopardy, but so, it's certainly concerning. Yes. So you and I uh, yes. agree. But I think they're they're getting shafted with that second thing coming back around where they're having to serve the full five years. The guy's what seventy two years old for crying out loud. Well, that's just silly. It's just silly over this. And I understand the concerns, but there's no mm -hmm. reason. Uh, One of the few times I'm going to agree with Tom Criswell, you know, this mandatory sentencing thing, you really need to stop and go, hold on. It needs to be looked. Absolutely. Yeah. That's yes. So let me read some of the comments that we've had on our Facebook post um, uh, from our friend of the show, Adam Henscheid, um, stop imminent domain abuse, which is one of the issues out there. Mm, it misses the point, though. Yeah. It, well, this is for an this eminent, particular this, segment, but for yeah. the whole entire thing, that's one of the points that they're trying to make out there. Uh, Sean Thomas says, join them. Um, Tom Criswell, we just mentioned, said, definitely shut down and have psyche valves and IQ test done. I'm not quite sure what that's going to do, but, you know, it's, it's Tom. <laughs> um, Bernard Ortiz, who I think has the most ironic response, carpet bomb their asses. I know I can't say that, but it's a quote from somebody yep. else. The um, uh, media needs to tell the whole story. Divide and conquer. Uh, that's from Doris Day. Um, I don't think it's that Doris Day. Uh, it's not that Doris Day, but it's a... a it's uh, a Doris Day. A Doris Day. <laughs> Jade Helm is divide and conquer tactics. Don't be a fool and fall for it. Unite and destroy these tyrants, meaning the government. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, I'm all for making sure your government is in line. Um uh, here we go again. Blame the president. I don't think anybody's blaming the president on us. Well, I think that was an ironic one. Yes, maybe. Uh, I'm for the ranchers. If you knew the whole story, uh, and then from David Ward, liberals love their slave masters. Mm. We do. So we do. Well, you know, you like to enslave I'm, economically enslave people. I'm putting, that is for sure. I'm put, I'm, hey, why aren't you wearing your manacles? <laughs> I, you know, tax t- season's coming up. I'll be strapping them on pretty quick. Every uh, yeah. every night after the show, folks, I chain him up. I shouldn't. Jo- I shouldn't joke about. It. That's not funny to joke about. It. Well, they, I'll rescind that one. Yes. All right. So thanks everybody for tuning in. We couldn't do this show without you. And uh, you know, we really like it when you share your opinions with us. We love it. Uh, when Lefty says he likes being yelled at, he does. I do. I live next to him. He would invite people over just to have him yelling at him. All right. We'll be back right after this break.